What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. It's a couple days before Christmas. I got Aubrey Arrington, my brother, his daughter Lauren, and we're headed out spearfishing slash lobstering. What are you after? I'm after turning on the record button when you start the video. Yeah, no crap. I just did a full intro and never even hit record. <laughs> but what I'm doing? after a gag grouper, baby. It's end of year. We'll find one. Lauren? I need a big button. I saw a big one the other day, but didn't get a shot, so I need some redemption. Hey! Got our spear guns, our dive tanks, our fins, our mask. It's blowing 20 miles an hour out of the southeast. Yesterday it was blowing dead out of the north. Hey. We're going diving and we're going to take y'all along. We won't have a ton of, of above water footage, but we're going to show you what we see down below. All right, so we just got out here. We're about four miles offshore. Aubrey and Lauren are going first because I'd rather let them tell me how cold or how clear or how warm the water is before I got to get in. That's just being the smart younger brother. It's not near as rough as we thought. It's probably two to three with yeah. a little bit of chop. But if you do get seasick, you'd probably be yakking by now, I would have to say. <laughs> <laughs> if you get real seasick, you might get seasick watching this. Where are we going, the tiger? Yeah. This is the only place I've ever seen a tiger shark. And he's taking super. his daughter. Hey, you're in Arrington. It's duck or bleed. We know you all have seen a ton of lobster catch, clean, and cooks, but this is one of our favorite things to do. And I'm sure a bunch of y'all are glad we're bringing you along. When you're stuck on the couch, you might as well load up with a friend and go on a YouTube adventure. That's for sure. I was just watching those Mexico and Guatemala trip videos. Man, they are fun. What are you planning on doing with that knife? Hey, listen. I've been facing a shark without a spear gun one too many times, so the knife doesn't him? hurt. You're I might shank him. him. Yeah. But all seriousness, we hardly ever show you all our shark encounters, but they happen way more than we'd like to admit. Way more. A lot of times the reason we don't show you is because we've thrown the cameras down and we're li literally physically fighting them off of us because they want the fish that we have and we don't want them to have it. Lauren got a Lauren got a quick clip of me one time, judo kayao, kicking a shark right in the nose. Yeah. I wouldn't say they're trying to eat us. No. But they're definitely intimidating. All right, it's just about go time. They got their tanks on. So here in Florida, I get a lot of comments asking how we're spearfishing on scuba. In America, and especially in Florida, it's completely legal. I know in some countries like the Bahamas, it's not, but here it is. We have tight regulations on what we can and can't get, but spearing on scuba is completely legal, ethical, and fun. It's really deep where we're at. It would be near impossible to free dive it for 99.9% .9 of humans on Earth, so we tank dive. There's no current today for some reason. Typically, we have so after two we to three this, knots of tide. We have zero today. North, about 100 yards. Okay, I'm good. We're not marking any fish this That's far fine. up. When you pull up on this, I'm telling you, this is worth diving. Ready, Lauren? Uh -huh. Go. And they're off. Typically, when you go down on a dive, you'll have about 30 minutes of air. If you see that white buoy, that's how I follow my divers. Wherever that buoy goes, I go.
Alright, so it's been about 30 minutes and they're just popping up. Dude, I shot the biggest black I've shot in a little while. Don't run the buoy over, he's still on the bottom. Check out what Lauren's got. Lauren did it! <laughs> Woo -hoo! It's rough, folks. I shot the biggest black I've shot in quite a while. I got him shot one way, shot the other. We couldn't get him out. You gotta go clean up. Y'all need Uncle Gabe to go do Come it? On, baby. We gotta go get him. Dad ran slap out of air. Hey, you guys. I was like, Lord, give me some air, baby. I'm done. If you can't tell, I'm not the only Arrington that gets fired up. Hey, while I'm taunting the grouper, this bad boy just swims up. And I was like, all right, I'll put you in the box. So, what? What's happened is they've speared a big fish and they couldn't get it up, so they left it on the bottom. Now I gotta go get it. Woo, it's rough. It's hard to hang on to the side of the boat. It's hard to do anything like this, but hey, life's not always easy. You just gotta go after it. All right, we'll see y'all on the other side.
there's some, one big shark. There's big lines. I got it. Got it. Well, he's in the box now, boys. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Gabe. He fought me hard, I can tell you that. <laughs> one big lobster with eggs. One big lionfish. Lay on. That was pretty neat. Big nurse shark, right when I got there, was trying to get in there with him. Uh uh. And then a big lemon shark. Right there at the end. Really? Hey. I told y'all that's the best grouper I shot in a while. That took some work. Hey. Gabe, get in there with him. <laughs> you lost the battle, son. <laughs> We've done come to make war. I had so much stuff and gear. I'm like, I'm going up. I can't take it no more. All right, this is a third, a third, a third. Let's go get something else. Tell me he doesn't look a little bit different now. That's right. We cleaned him when we got in yesterday at Aubrey's house because we split everything. I got half the fish. Look at that nice tail piece. But I wasn't leaving without the head. I think smoked grouper head now is one of my most favorite things in the world to eat. And it's not like what you would think. It's not smoked like, you know, smoked fish dip style fish. It's cooked really, really well, and it tastes amazing. So all I do is a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of garlic, just like that. I'm gonna go lay it on the grill. Come on, just follow me. Follow me. I know the lighting's not perfect, but it's good enough. I'm gonna let this cook for two and a half hours. Now look at that big boy. So as soon as I got done getting the grouper, I knew I was at the point in the video where I already had like 10 minutes of footage. So I'm like, I gotta cut it at some point and get to the kitchen so you guys understand what's going on. So this big lionfish, when I kicked off that wreck and started going, because I was there to get lobster, because we're going to Georgia tonight to go hunt with my buddy Richard Harris. Now look, luckily he loves black grouper, so I had something to bring him besides these three lobster tails. But the beautiful woman behind the camera said they're not going anywhere, they're staying at our house. So she also said she wanted lionfish for breakfast. Now a lot of people ask me why I don't clip the fins. Well, you don't need to. Just be careful. I use a big knife to avoid them, just like that. <laughs> Come in just like this. Now lionfish has probably the cleanest meat you will ever see on a fish, second to hogfish. It doesn't get any prettier than that. And the fish still looks cool if one of your buddies comes over while you're cleaning it. There's really no reason to clip the spines. But if you aren't comfortable, Go ahead and clip them because I got stung one time. I've been stung a bunch, but I got stung one time really bad while tank diving. You don't want that to happen, trust me. Y'all leave a comment below if you've ever had lionfish for breakfast because that's what Kelly Young of all things requested this morning. So, just like any fish, come in here. Push and pull. There's just a teeny little line of pin bones. There's no bloodline, and that's what makes this fish so amazing. Look at that, though. They do have tons of little scales that you need to get off before you cook it. Man, you... If you were here right now and could smell my house from opening that door, the last thing I cooked on my grill was those mackerel and the smell is amazing. So the cool thing about having fish tanks is any of these little scrap pieces, my crabs love them. Now the lobster we're going to clean 
and put away and I'll show you how to properly do that. But this black grouper, I'm going to vacuum seal it, my new vacuum sealer. Look at this, the same people that make the lights on my duck boat came out with this vacuum sealer and the cool thing about it, it has a scale and I'm going to show you all how to vacuum seal this fish and properly put it away. It'll be good forever. Alright, so before I start cooking Kelly's breakfast, I'm going to show you all how to put this lionfish away. Now when you spear these things, I didn't show you all much footage yet and I'll start showing you some right now. You'll notice that when you spear them, their spines are really, really dangerous when you're putting them in the bag. That's when you're going to get stuck 99% of the time. So one of the coolest things about this vacuum sealer is that it has a built-in scale for all y'all that you know do food prep or you just like to know what stuff weighs before you vacuum seal it or after. That's all you got to do. Look at that. 9.40 ounces of awesome fish. You can make a ceviche with this or anything. So Kelly likes her fish completely plain, just like that. The only thing she likes to put on it is that stuff right there. And a little bit of sea salt. That's all lionfish really needs. It's so good. Woo! Smells so good. I've got it on about a medium heat. Gonna drop just a little bit more butter in there. Mm -hmm. Now watch this golden crunch. Beautiful, beautiful lionfish. So while we're waiting on that, I'm going to take this big chunk of black that we shot. Like that, it's done. A breakfast for champions. Take this lid, put it right on top, turn that heat down. The fish will finish off and so will the egg. So that's how you properly take care of fish. Get you a good vacuum sealer, fillet the fish, dry the fillets off, vacuum seal them, put them in the freezer, write the date on them, and they'll be good for a long time. A runny yolk with a couple good fillets. Look at that though. What y'all know about that? It's a Floridian breakfast right there. Mm. Breakfast of champions. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm digging in. I'm ready. <laughs> How is it? It's delicious. Lionfish is my top two favorite, favorite fish. But are you going to start tank diving with us? Hold up. Let me show you something. What do you have? <laughs> this is my Christmas gift to myself. I got a BC, a regulator, all brand spanking new. So I can go catch me some lionfish. <laughs> but are you ready to dive with Aubrey Arrington yet? I mean, I deal with you every day. I can think I can handle your brother. Aubrey's on a whole <laughs> other level. So for those of y'all that know Aubrey personally, he's the calmest, coolest, collective, most awesome person ever until he starts to dive and, and things start getting like hectic. It is every man for themselves after that point. His daughter Lauren will attest to that. Lionfish, oh my gosh. It's like a perfect breakfast because one, it's just straight protein. You got your omegas, zero carb. What about that cinnamon toast crunch? That's good for like a treat. I love me some cinnamon toast crunch. Let's check this grouper out. You know that looks good. Hey, that's it. That's all we got for this video. We're headed to Georgia deer hunting tonight. I'm going to get Luke and Jake. Hopefully Jake busts his first deer of the year. Luke's already got one with me. Now it's Jake's turn. And then your turn. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out Kelly Young's channel, my brother Deer Meat for Dinner's channel. 
and my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that notification button and the subscribe button. Then you can see when we upload. Hey, like Jake always says though, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.